In this exercise, we're going to look how we can use the power of Bluebeam combined with the power of Excel to do quantity takeoffs. And we're going to do that through a process known as quantity link. But before we hop over to Excel, let's look and see what we have in our PDF over here in Bluebeam. I want you to first notice at the top here, I have several area measurements placed. Each one of these, if we select, has been categorized with the subject of flooring. But then each one has a different label. So for these two, these are carpet. I have hardwood here and I have tile. And this is going to be important when we get in over to Excel and how we link these two together. I have two perimeter measurements over here that I'm going to use so I can determine the wall area. I have another length perimeter measurement over here, and I'll use this for millwork. And then I have several count measurements that I'm using for plumbing. Now, before we actually add a new link, let's look and see how this actually interacts. If you notice over here right now, my carpet is set to 200 square feet. Now, the only two cells coming from Bluebeam are going to be these two right here. So notice when I come in and I place a new carpet. So I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to, for this exercise, create a new carpet that's something like this. Now notice this went from 200 to 235. These are directly linked to each other. So there's a lot of power there. I can now do all of my quantities in here, have them all linked. The same thing goes for if I wanted to place some uh, more sinks here and I wanted to finish my count for my sinks and I hit enter. Notice my sinks went from two to four and my quantities changed. Same thing for my toilets. See, I came in here and I was looking at this count and I realized that I wanted to add another toilet. Maybe I wanted to count these urinals as my fixtures. So I'm starting with six, seven, eight. And when I finish that, I now have eight over here. Now, let's look and see how we actually created that link. In Excel over here, I want to cr create the one for tile. To do that, I'm going to right click on the cell that I want to place my link, and I'm going to go to quantity link, and I'm going to hit create. Now, it's already been linked, so it knows that this PDF is connected to this Excel file, but all I need to do now is first tell Excel what I want to look for. So I want an area. And then the next thing is, how do I want to identify what that area is? And I want to do it using a label, and I want to use a label for tile. And then I'm going to hit OK. It's going to go ahead and pick up any tiles that it can find. So if we come over over here and we see that this is currently set to 204, that's at 204. Now what happens if we just copied this over? Notice that now that'll jump to 408. So you can see using Bluebeam and Excel in the process of quantity link, we can have these directly connected and then use our Excel template to build up our quantities, add our cost data, and then use it for our totals.